Hi, I'm Harm van den Dorpo. I've been active as an artist for as long as I can remember. I used to play with the computer of my father who worked at the stock exchange. I often broke his computer. I studied AI for a bit and went to art school where I studied time-based media. I think I went from studying software engineering to art school because at the university people didn't really like the images I was making. But at art school they didn't really like the algorithms I was making. So they were like, that's not art. Like that's not go 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 study art. And that now that for that generative work to be in the museum is is not just an amazing achievement for me, but also for generative art in general. It was very flattering to be invited and asked ask to work with a Mercedes-Benz and fingerprints. Um, I think the, the essence of machine is that with a few simple rules, an observation that I had of car spinning backwards, that I was able to simulate this in a very celebratory way with like lots of complexity, lots of moving, colorful parts where I am as surprised by what comes out as hopefully the, the viewers will be. The one meeting with Gordon uh, Wagner, he mentioned like, why, do, why don't you do 3D? And I was like, you know. And I first had like a, a smart answer of why I didn't do that, but then later on I was like, hmm, it's maybe actually a pretty good idea. So, so th that was fun, but that to have kind of a back and forth. In this case, instead of using fully random numbers for the parameters, I trained a neural network. So I gave it multiple uh, examples of configurations that I think look good. The name machine, uh, machine in, in German, the German word. A few reasons, uh, it starts with the M, <laughs> just like Mercedes-Benz. But also I wanted it to be more like a, a general title, because even though it's inspired on rotating uh, car wheels, it also refers to any kind of machine that has power and rotates. So, so in that sense, it re maybe refers to the whole history of German engineering. Wanted to make something that is that really somehow makes sense with, with, with the brand. But on the other hand, I'm an autonomous artist. So when I make something, it has to be me. And gradually that converged into something that I, I think all parties can, I think we succeeded in that, to make something that I can stand behind that I would also want to show in a museum. This project is really made in response to the context of Mercedes-Benz. I'm responding to what I think, what I like about automobile technology. And then to work with fingerprints who are, their collection is, is, is based on on-chain crypto artworks. A large community of crypto collectors, NFT collectors, who are particularly interested in uh, artworks that take advantage of the blockchain or have technological innovation. I'm still a little bit, um, it's been so a secret for so long that I kind of, can I say it out in the open?